Hello guys and welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll be reviewing the MIDI-G smartphone. As you can see right here, it is the MIDI-G Bison G2 GT2 5G. As you can see right here, it's a brand new phone supplied to me and I'll be reviewing it in this video. All right, guys, I must warn you in this video before you keep watching. Um, I have some construction going on in my basement. So there's some sound in the background. I'm really sorry if it distracts you. Also, I bit my lower lip um, yesterday, and so I have been talking weird. So please, if that interrupts your understanding of what I'm saying, I'm really sorry. I apologize, but this is the review of the Midi-G smartphone, it's the Midi-G Bison GT2 5G. All right, so we should proceed by the usual way we start. As always, we start by telling you exactly what comes in the pack as the manufacturer tells us about. I'm talking about the specifications. Um, if you want to know, for those who care, it is the Midi-G Bison GT2 5G and it does come with an 8 gigs of RAM. It comes with um, 1 to 8 gigs of memory space or ROM. It has a battery life of 6150 mAh hour, and it has a display screen of 6.5 inches. That's quite big if you ask me. And as you all know, the, the Midi-T phones come really packed. They come really looking fat and solid. And this is the pack of the Midi-T phone. The Midi-T um, um, GT2 5G phone. All right, guys, so we shall begin by unboxing. So this video is going to be an unboxing video as well as uh, a review video. Like we always know, guys, we unbox because there's more that comes in the pack beyond what the manufacturer says about this phone. So let's see whether this phone is worth buying or not. All right, so let's begin by uh, taking off the pack before we, we talk about normally the, uh, 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 the packaging of the phone. They always come very with big packaging like this as you can see right here this is quite this is big this is my hand and this is the packaging there you go it's a big pack can you see and this is my old phone as you can see right here a vibe lenovo vibe p2 um p1 sorry and this is the pack so this is a massive phone in here as always so let's go on and see what's inside this pack i'm going to use my knife here to um get rid of this sticky stuff right here uh, sticky 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 get out of my way okay this is a little bit um tough for me i think i need a very i need a, a, a thinner blade to get this off but once it's off we'll proceed with our review okay this is off it's off okay this as well is off Right. Normally it should be cut and not peeled out, but I'm going to peel this off just for the video to proceed. Okay. So that out of the way, as you can see right here, we we'll open the phone this way, slides, slides gradually and out. And this is the Midi-G Bison GT2 5G phone. All right. So let's proceed with the review of this um, device right here. The Midi-G phones normally, like I said to you, they come, they come really big and strong looking. And I like to see them because they remind me of phones that are required or used by people in construction. People, you know, who, who are working tough, you know, who have very, um, who have jobs that require a lot of pressure, a lot of, um, there's risk of falling and all that. You need people, you need phones like this that, you know, that would, fall and not crash you know fall and not break fall and not you know you don't have to replace the screen because they are quite protective it's a bison guys the bison <laughs> right so it's a really um strong phone as you can see right here um it has super fast 5g network it supports that um it runs on the google um, um android 12 platform which is which is which is good um for the um, the os but guys, let's jump into the pack and see what's inside this pack. Okay, right. We can see right here, it comes with uh, a charging cable. It comes as well with a charger right here. This goes into here and this little part here goes, goes, into, goes into the phone right here. This is the charging port right here. Okay, so this is what this is all about. The charging cable and that's all it comes, it comes with. 
and of course it comes with the user manual right here which uh, you should read i hope you read this because it tells you how to enjoy the um thoroughly enjoy the um, um the g2 uh, bison um, mini g phone so as you can see right here it says um thank you for choosing mini g product and when i purchased this i was surprised to get an i got an email from their service department saying that if i had any issues with the phone i should contact them that they had a one year special warranty on their devices which is very good i find generally speaking that um most of these phones um these new phones these days they actually have very good customer service sort of you know there is that provision for you to like reach out and get service you know if your phone malfunctions in a short while um before it's supposed to so that's a very good thing and good feature i think so i would say please use it use it all right so in this video we'll not be reading this manual right here but it's very important for every user to read all right so this is a lot of packaging by the way this is a lot of packaging but i understand because it's a very heavy phone so i, I can tell you need something very strong to support the weight of this phone this phone really weighs it weighs about it weighs almost a kilogram seriously it does it does it's quite heavy um so i would say if you're looking for a phone that can serve you uh, you know if you have a tough job you're in construction i would say this this phone is for you already without even going inside because you need more you need more a phone that can be protective you know or a phone that has got protection around it that wouldn't fall and crash so easily because if it fell and crashed every easy, so easily you would have to buy a new phone every few days or weeks so that's why you need a phone like this all right so let's go into the phone and see exactly what is inside of this phone because there's always more that lies in the pack okay or in the phone rather all right let's get rid of this rid of this 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 away okay okay and let's talk about the midi phone itself bison phone Looking right here, guys, you can see right here, it's, it says here it's shock proof. It's all smooth down here. It uh, does have a lot of metal here, as you can see right here, metal. Um, this is some, past, some um, plastic um, for protection. This is all metal. And this, is, this looks very solid. And it says here, which is one very powerful feature of this phone. The phone is absolutely waterproof and dust proof. So there we go. It's time to explore this phone. Right here, looking at the phone, it's got two cameras, the rear and the front camera. The rear camera is 64 megapixels and the front camera is, um, I believe it's eight megapixels. So that is fantastic for us to start with in this um, review. Or rather, I was error, sorry, that was an error. Sorry, I was mistaken. This, uh, this has a front camera of 24 megapixels and the back camera, a review camera of 64 megapixels right so that is the makeup of this phone so let's go inside the phone and see what it has exactly before we should talk about um the size of the phone here you have here you have the volume controls here and you have the power button right here fingerprint scanner as well it works as a power button and fingerprint scanner so here you have here the customizable button too and here you have the sim card and memory card slot right here the sim card and memory card right here so it tells you exactly what is on each side of the phone through this sort of um back mapping that's here you see a map here behind it tells you exactly where where what is and that is very fantastic about the phone so i would say um yeah so far so good but let's go into the phone guys let's um take out the mask and see what lies behind the screen all right uh, it's a very smooth and nice screen i like it already um it's a massive phone by the way i mentioned that earlier as you can see right here this is the size of my palm or even bigger and i would say this one is not for people like me who have very small palms so watch out watch out be careful i mean, i've used phones as big as this but i would say generally speaking people don't like to use phones that are very big uh, bigger than the palms can carry so i would say have a feel of this phone and tell me exactly how you know if you think you, the phone is suited for you based on your palm size well for mine i would say no right so generally speaking that's what i'm saying so let's look at the back as well of the, of the phone you can see that the back of the phone 
is really smooth because it's covered by something um but it feels very smooth and here you have the speaker right here the speaker which is good so i would say generally speaking i would expect that you would have a casing for this one because of of uh, to prevent it from falling but i would say even if you didn't have a casing i would say you're protected because the phone comes very very safe already so i would say having a casing for this would be too much of a packaging too much casing you know too much of weight to carry i would say i would say don't go for a packaging out or sorry for a casing i would say use your phone looking like this my advice but if you prefer to use a casing that's up to you all right so let's let's um, switch on this phone by holding on the power button for about two seconds and then we count down one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen oh on the at the on the fourteenth second <laughs> yeah the phone turns on uh it comes on that is good all right it's good and it says hi there so this is the first screen you see and i'm showing you this because i want you to know exactly when your phone is not the original phone most phones are designed they are actually fake phones are designed these days and you know they come with the right packaging and everything they even look nicer from the outside than this phone and the originals but when you go inside it tells you something else it tells you um something else you know maybe bison with an e there you know <laughs> so be careful or maybe g with an e at the end so be careful All right so let's go in and say start we will not connect to mobile we'll skip that phase we will uh, you know what let's connect to my internet and see what happens connect to my internet all right i'm just gonna pause the video for a second all right it's connected to my internet it's connected now as you can see right here it's connected so it does have the wi-fi setting and it really works the wi-fi does work um so it's connected to my wi-fi already as you can see right here uh swiping down to see what's happening but it's not letting me swipe down because the phone is still um, getting ready as it says right here so let's give it some time to get ready just a second okay it says copy and copy apps and data if you want to choose to transfer your apps and photos and contacts because you have a google account in the previous phone you can do that on this page right here you can go to next and it tells you what to do next it tells you android iphone which one do you want to use but in this case, we'll not be doing all this. So I'm going to say, can't use all device. Okay. I'm going to go back. Sorry. Go back and say, do not copy. Do not copy right here. It says, do not copy. I'm going to go there. And it goes to the next stage. All right. And it says, sign into my email. I'm going to say, skip. I'm going to say, skip. And it keeps on loading to Google services and it tells you Google location scanning, allow this, allow this, allow that. I'm going to say, okay, I don't care, but I'm going to say accept. The screen lock. All right, guys, make sure that you lock your screens if you have con concerns about access in your, wherever you live or wherever you operate from. So I would say in this feed, I'm going to say, I'm going to skip this face, but make sure you can use your password, passcode, um, fingerprint, to lock your screens if you're concerned about that. Next, skip anyways. And then this is the home screen of our phone. Uh, with the G, um, G, uh, G2, GT2 5G. <laughs> with the G Bison GT2 5G. It's a mouthful, guys, if you ask me. But yeah, so this is the home screen. As you can see right here, you, these are some apps displayed here. You can scroll left and right and see apps so it has only two app, apps and um, app pages sort of right it has a zello the zello app here the zello uh zello zero i'm not sure what it is but yeah if you click right here it shows you the google applications right here which i like youtube youtube music gmail and all that right here and he has duo um he has uh, your sound recorder right here which is a good function to have most phones have a sound recorder so i would say nothing extra i would say it's got the settings and if you go in there you can see that your settings here you have the network wi-fi connected devices here apps and notifications it's got a smart key 
kind of assistant battery life it is 82 percent right so i always advise people guys if you buy a phone make sure it's charged for a while before you start to use it it's charged to full capacity right before you start using it because most phones are packed for a long time and they end up with low batteries so you're unable to really like use the phone and using the phone on low battery is quite um a bad idea so be careful about that make sure you do that so as you can see right here the screen tends to rotate very easily by itself it's an auto rotate so you can switch here to let's go to auto rotate right here i'm going to turn it off okay so we can have our phones to ourselves this way it doesn't rotate and keeps um, and releases the confusion right so let's go back up here i will go to swipe right you can see that there, there's a there's a the airplane mode the night light reduction the uh nearby share function the screen record as well so most android phones have this function the screen record and all this when you swipe down this way so that's fantastic it also has got the nfc and screencast right here which is good all right so let's go through you can see that these are all the settings of the phone right here and this is about the phone okay good that's enough and when you punch each button guys below here below here the phone tends to vibrate slightly so i'm sure you can actually tune that off or on in the settings of the phone right so guys if you want to see your apps the apps or the app or sorry the apps right or the pages that are running on your phone simply hold the button right here and it tells you you scroll left and right and it shows you the apps that are running right here and it tells you it tells you as well the the available memory sort of of your phone right available ram space or ram space on your phone because every app use uses some ram space right so it tells you the available ram space you have just to help you manage your phone and you know the way your phone operates so i would say what this use it guys it will help you right so to clear up the apps that are here you can actually do this you can do this and the apps or the pages get cleared so that's how you work it okay so looking right here the only app that's new to me guys is the zillow app right here i have no idea what this is for it says zillow zillow oh okay it's a texting service obviously but okay i won't go into that right now but i'm going to say if you know about this this um this service please go to the comment section and tell us what it's all about but in this video we'll skip that so this is the this is simply the um the um the Milogy, um uh, gt bison gt2 5g smartphone um the way i feel about this phone is this phone is the first feature is selling is waterproof it is waterproof guys which is amazing amazing guys waterproof amazing but i heard something which you should know is is before you test the waterproof ability make sure that you you cover this point here and you cover all these openings here around the phone that's how you know the phone is waterproof guys because without that the phone will go into water and it will get damaged so be careful about that so um, normally phones respond to two taps on the screen to come on from the, from the um for the backlight to come on so let's see this backlight is not coming on oh it, it does come on okay let's see one two one two okay one two three okay it does respond to tapping on the screen right but well, that can be adjusted it doesn't really matter guys but just you know going through the phone and just feeding the phone so this is what you find on the midi smartphone the bison gt2 um 5g phone right so guys it comes with a few apps but like you know you guys you can always go to the app store and download more apps right here sign into the app store and download more apps and that is simply the midi um, gt2 smartphone right here all right guys now people think this phone is amazing people have had very good reviews about this phone and i think that if you want a phone that is that is light then this is not a phone for you because this phone is quite heavy to hold i mean it's fairly heavy to hold you know it's heavy to hold and it also it also um it's it's a large phone to hold as well so i'll say if you have a small palm like mine maybe this one is not for you I would say if you are in construction, if you are doing a very tough job or you are on the site doing some work there, whatever you're doing there, I think you you, you need this phone or you're going mountain climbing. I would say this is the phone for you. 
<laughs> all right guys so that is my advice on this phone how i feel about this phone to be honest with you this phone is nothing out of this world the screen doesn't feel so great when you scroll through you see um but before we wrap up guys let's let's have a look at the camera to see how good the camera quality is all right let's go to the camera and see take a picture of my hand right right portrait video mode okay picture mode this is my hand and this is the midi and i'm telling you believe me when i say this is not a very fantastic camera to be honest with you so i would say choose wisely when you're choosing cameras or phones for camera quality because i'm not impressed by this at all so like i said to you guys the major selling point of this phone is the battery life the screen the the um, the resilience to tough to pressure i mean the protection of the phone the t the durability of the phone in terms of how tough it is you know, physically speaking and then um of course um nothing about the nothing about um about the the um the the size of the phone or you know all that it's a simple phone that you can use when you're going rough when you're going rough to the mountains to you know going on on hikes you don't want to have a very light phone that falls and gets crashed you know by some pressure so i would say this one is not you know it's not so great when it has to do with um the camera quality and all that so i would say uh on those levels you should think twice before buying this phone but generally speaking i would say if you want a phone that's waterproof a phone that can withstand pressure this is the phone for you the middle g smartphone the gt2 5g phone all right guys this is the end of this review and i hope you had a great time listening so far so good i would say buy the middle g if you like it in the description you find a link there and um don't forget to leave me a like a share um, a comment as well let me know exactly if you have this phone and what you experience with this phone um, until my next video it's a wrap thank you for watching and bye